All right, so in this lesson, we're going to be talking about how you can alter some text using some pretty neat uh, path effects that you see here. And in order to alter some text, uh, we need to have text on our screen. And we use the text tool like we've always talked about before. And for simplicity, I'm just going to go ahead and use the same font uh, that is currently my default. So here's the text and the path effects menu that's what we need to go to next so as you can see we have some grayed out stuff even though we have text selected and with all the lessons that you've learned about we always want to check the information section down here and this is text and we're dealing with path effects now if you don't see path effects on your screen well uh, go over here to path and then path effects and you'll you'll see that so in order to use this, we need to have our text be a path. And to do that, it is under the path menu and object a path. So now when we take a look at this, it is a path for us to utilize. All right, so now that we have this ungrade and it is available to us, I'm gonna go ahead and click the add path effect. Now this menu will pop up and the one that we are looking for is envelope deformation. And we're gonna go ahead and click add. All right, so now we do have uh, several options uh, to us. Let's go ahead and try to warp this real quick. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And you'll notice that we have a green bar with a couple of nodes right here. So uh, you can go ahead and you can actually move these red dots and you can start warping the text that way. You can also warp it by making a bulge in the center and we'll show you that here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to edit undo and you can actually take this little editor and you can shove up that green line and we can do the same thing for the bottom bend path and you'll see that we get another green line and we can make the text bulge in the center now you can always do the opposite and you know shrink it and i'm going to go ahead and go back up to the top one and we can basically shrink our text so using the envelope deformation uh, gives you a lot of flexibility a lot of play with some of the text that you may have that you're wanting to cut out. Now, once you have everything set up, you do want to do one last step before you save this as an SVG. And you go up here, and you, you do want to make sure you go path, object to path, just to make sure that all those settings will stay with you. And you can go ahead and go to File, Save As, and save it as your SVG.